Let's talk about the throttle. If you have the need for speed, then the throttle's for you. Full control over the power output of the engine. In the Cessna 152, that relays directly to the RPM displayed on the tachometer. Pull back on the throttle to reduce RPM to 1800. are also decreasing. Excellent. Okay, let's throttle back up to 2400 RPM. this lesson, let's take a look at the relationship between attitudes and power settings. Attitude plus power equals performance. We are currently at 5,500 feet in a cruise attitude. The aircraft's nose is positioned under the horizon and cruise power is at 2,300 RPM. Try to reduce power to 2,000 RPM while maintaining 5,500 feet. steady, but that's not really a precise means of control. Probably better to adjust your trim wheel until you don't need to push or pull on the yoke. Drag the trim down when you need to set the nose up. Drag it up to set the nose down. Try adding trim to keep us at 5,500 feet without increasing throttle. while maintaining 5,500 feet. Get us back to a cruise attitude. Excellent. 
front. Now adjust the trim. That's good. Wow, great job. The way I was taught, when you adjust the trim, you make course changes at first to remove pressure on the yoke. Then small adjustments to find the perfect setting to keep your desired attitude. If you feel your pitch slipping and need to get back to the proper attitude, don't worry. Just pull on the yoke, then dial in the right trim. That's the key to straight and level flight.